Three years ago, I made a video called the Top 10 Costco Preps. These were a list of 10 items that you could pick up at Costco every time that you go to help build up your emergency preparedness supplies. Well, in this video, we're going to revisit the Top 10 Costco Preps and examine how inflation has impacted the prices. We've all seen the rising cost of goods over the past few years, and I thought it would be good to assess how this affected our ability to prepare for emergencies. So in this video, we're going to look at all of the original items that were recommended with their original prices, and then we'll look at those same items and the current prices to see how much they've been impacted by inflation over the past three years. We'll also use this data to help determine the prices in another three years. Hopefully this will help provide insights to see if those top 10 preps remain a budget-friendly option for emergency preparedness measures and to get a data-driven look at the impact of inflation on our ability to stay prepared. Let's get started. <music> Costco is a well-established membership-based retail chain that operates large warehouses where customers can purchase a wide variety of goods in bulk quantities. Costco stores feature a diverse selection of products, including groceries, electronics, clothing, and household items. This makes it a preferred choice for preppers that are looking for cost-effective solutions for their emergency preparedness measures, all in one location. Here's a quick summary of the original top 10 Costco preps. We have rice, batteries, canned meats, cooking oil, peanut butter and jelly, soups and chili, canned or jarred fruit, canned vegetables, toilet paper, and over-the-counter medications. Fortunately, when I filmed that particular video, I got footage of the price tags for each individual item, and that's what I'll be using as a comparison three years later. So everybody, place your bets in now and guess what you think that the average percentage of inflation is going to be for the top 10 Costco preps three years later. Let's start doing the comparison now, and at the end of the video, we'll see if your guess was right. To calculate the percentage increase in price, I'm going to use the formula of taking the new price, subtracting the old price, and then dividing the whole thing by the old price. That'll give us the percentage increase. The first item that we have is rice. I prefer the basmati rice at Costco. Back in 2020, the price that I paid was $22.99. Three years later, that price is actually lower at $22.49 for a 2% drop. So it looks like at least at Costco, rice remains a good option to purchase. Next, we have batteries. I prefer picking up AA and AAA batteries at Costco, which have a 10 year shelf life. Three years ago, the cost of a pack of batteries was $16.99. Three years later, that cost is now $18.99, so a 12% increase over the past three years. Next, we have various canned meats. Starting off first with tuna fish. Three years ago, it was $13.69, and today that price is $15.99, so that's a 17% increase. Next is corned beef. Three years ago, the price of corned beef was $19.99 at Costco. Today, the price is a whopping $35.39 which is a 77% increase due to inflation. Next, we have canned chicken. Three years ago, it was $9.99. And today at Costco, it's $12.99. So that's a 30% increase. And then last, I had canned salmon, which has a very long shelf life. Three years ago, the cost of canned salmon was $13.69. And today that price is $16.99 for a 24% increase. The next item is cooking oil. We prefer using olive oil. Three years ago, the cost of a big jug of olive oil was $10.99. Today, that same jug of olive oil is $17.99. So that's a whopping 64% increase. Next, we have peanut butter. I prefer using the Jif peanut butter because it has a longer shelf life than the Adams peanut butter, which I do think tastes better. Three years ago, the cost of Jif peanut butter was $8.99. Today, that price is $11.99 at my local Costco. So the price has increased by approximately 33%. Three years ago, jam used to cost $6.89 for a jar. We prefer either strawberry or raspberry. Today, that cost is $9.99. So inflation hit the price of jam by 45%. Next, we have soup. One of those big packages of Top Ramen used to cost $8.59. Three years later, the price is now $13.35, which is a 55% increase. We also like having chili in our pantry. Costco has a few different kinds. The Nally's chili used to cost $13.69. Today, that price is $15.69. So that's a 15% price increase. The other brand of chili, which we sometimes get, is the Cattle Drive Chili, which used to cost $10.99 three years ago. Today, that same package of chili costs $13.99. So that's a 27% price increase. In the original top 10 Costco preps video, I featured a lot of different canned or jarred fruits. The average price of one of those jarred fruits was $7.79. Today, that same jar cost $12.89. So that's a 65% price increase due to inflation. 
Next, we have those canned vegetables. Costco has a wide variety of canned vegetables. We like having the green beans for our emergency pantry. Three years ago, that cost of green beans was $9.99, and today the cost is $10.99. So only a 10% cost increase after inflation for the past three years. Next, we have toilet paper. We prefer the Kirkland brand of toilet paper. Three years ago, the cost of one of those big packages of toilet paper was $16.99. Today, that same package of toilet paper costs $19.49. So that's a 15% price increase. And then for medications, I recorded the price tags of a few different medications three years ago. The first one being multivitamins. Three years ago, that cost $19.99. Today, that same container of multivitamins actually decreased in price to $14.99. So it reduced in price by 25%. And then we also have fish oil. Three years ago, the cost of fish oil at Costco was $7.99. Today, that same container of fish oil cost $12.99. So that's a 63% price increase due to inflation over the past three years. Let's say that you wanted to purchase every single item that I just listed. Back in 2020, that would have cost you $220.23. If you were to buy all of those same items today, the new cost would be $277.19. So the percentage difference between the two prices of everything is approximately 26%. If you took the average of all of the percentage differences for all of the items that we've listed, the average percentage difference is 31%. So if in the beginning of this video, you guessed 31%, congratulations, you are correct. So based off of the top 10 Costco preps, the price of inflation is increasing by 10% every year. I've created a PDF document that you could download by clicking the link in the description box below. It provides a table with all the information that's been discussed thus far in this video. It also includes some predictions for what the prices may be three years from now if the 10% increase in inflation continues. Based off of the data that I have from the top 10 Costco preps, the items that would be most impacted is the corned beef, which would now cost $70. The cooking oil, which would now cost $32. The fruit, which would cost $23. And the fish oil, which would cost $23. Again, if you bought all of the items that I listed in this video back in 2020, the price would be $220.23. Three years from now, if the trend continues, the price would then be $385.69. I've also included a table that shows how much you would spend based off of 2020 prices. So if something cost $100 back in 2020, today it would cost $130. And three years from now, it cost $173. I provided a table that goes all the way up to $1,000. If back in 2020 you spent $500 at Costco, today you'd be spending around $650, and three years from now you're going to spend around $865. If back in 2020 you spent a whopping $1,000 at Costco, today you'd be spending around $1,300, and three years from now you're going to be spending $1,730. Again, you could look at the data for yourself by downloading the PDF document. In conclusion, the impact of inflation on the cost of the top 10 emergency preps over at Costco over the past three years is definitely concerning, with prices increasing by 10% annually based off of the data of this video. The bad news is that waiting another three years will only make these essentials even more expensive. However, here's the good news. Investing in your emergency preparedness now is not only a financially savvy move, but also a life-saving one. Unlike traditional investments like gold, the supplies that you stockpile are tangible assets. You could actually eat them, which helps ensure their value will never depreciate. You can't really eat gold. In the uncertain future that we seem to be living in, these resources can even become bartering tools if need be. I'm still enjoying many of the items that I purchased from Costco three years ago, and I use my color-coordinated pantry organization system to help keep these preps rotated. As I still enjoy the items that I purchased from Costco three years ago, it's clear that prepping isn't just an expense. It's an investment in my peace of mind and well-being. So for those of you that are looking to become a little bit more prepared, or even those that are established preppers, stock up now, secure your future, and be more prepared for the unexpected. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for more emergency preparedness videos, and I'll see you next time. Take care.